Welcome to Marvel Stadium. With me today is Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. Really excited about this one today. Today's match between Geelong and Fremantle. set to run through them. Fremantle, we've got a talented group in the middle. It's up to whether or not Geelong can match them in the centre. Geelong fans making some noise as they step onto the field. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Fremantle kicking to the left of screen. Round four. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And here we go. It's along. Taking on Fremantle. Duncan getting in on the act. With the ball is Goldstein. Gets into a good position to take that. Cordy collects the kick. Marks all alone. Puts it on the boot. Finds himself in space and marks. Webster quickly onto the boot. He spears the ball. Savage looks to get onto the football. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Duncan gets the loose ball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Theophilo tackles well and wins a free. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Thank you, God. McAvoy farmed it down. Shows some physicality. It'll be a ball up. Thrashes it. Opportunity for Dugowie. Pushes off the tackler. Wins the race to the ball. Ball collected. Goes short by hand. And now Brody. Ball gets cut off. Burton slick with the hands. The mark is taken by Goldstein. Ainsworth does well to mark. Plays on quickly. The boundary line wins this race. Coming on. Ball back into play. Swatson. He gains possession. Ball picked up. Thank you. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. Goldstein thrashes it. Cordy coming onto the ground. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punches are clear. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Still awaiting the first score in this one. Looks like the ball will be coming back. 35 metres out. Boak hammers it at goal. 
He's excited about that one. He's enjoying every second of it out there. He's excited about that one. The first goal of the match. Clears the contest. McAvoy now. Gardner handballs to no one in particular. Has it now. Good grab there from Piopolo. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Going for goal number one. And pumps it through the big sticks. Of course, huh? Smiles all round. Geelong with their first of the match. Back in the middle. Guided down nicely by McAvoy. Collects the loose ball. Just puts it out in front. Didn't get away from the tackle. Brilliant chase. Taken by Wilson. Kennedy finds his man on the move. The ball ends up going to ground. But now we've got a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Gathered by Pinhard. Hands that ball to the opposition. Stephen flicks it over. Henderson drives the kick. The loose ball scooped up. Savage just threw it. With a driving kick. A strong mark in the pack from Thurlow. Going for goal number one. Dear Carey, I think it's a goal. He's enjoying that goal. Fremantle Clee is now six. Goldstein slaps it away. He just throws that ball. Elects to kick. Power Pepper wants to keep it moving by hand. What a goal by Reebok. He puts through his first goal. He acknowledges the crowd. The scores are all tied up. Back with another centre bounce. Goldstein does well. Ball up in the centre square. Goldstein won it down. Releases the handball. Is in his possession. He's got the football now. Nice work from Dugowie. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The margin is six. Goldstein got in the better position. He has the ball. Takes possession. Drop punt straight through the middle. Shield kicks his first. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. No margin to speak of now. Centre bounce. Wins the ruck duel. Fighting hard was Power Pepper. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it across half back. Good mark by Savage. Sinks the slipper into it. A chance to gather the ball. Collected by Gresham. Kelly charges with intent. Free going the way of Kelly. Cuts the kick inboard. Ebert leading the race to the loose ball. Rampy turns a free kick. Tips it towards half forward. Thompson the better man there. Going for goal number one. Sends it home. Thompson enjoying that goal. Fremantle, Cleet, Geelong. 24 to 18. Won it down. Ends up with Power Pepper. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. Moves the ball by foot. A mark by Ainsworth. Pumps the ball long. Seeds with the mark. A low stabbing kick. McAvoy used the body to take that mark. Clears the congestion. The ball spills to Curlow. Begley going for number one. Celebrating hard. 
The lead is now 12. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go out. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the opening term. The scores. Fremantle, 30. To Geelong, 18. Fremantle started well. Now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. The game was fairly open for the first quarter with plenty of goals to be had. Fremantle are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Dugowie, the number one ranked player on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. Players ready to start the second quarter. We're back in motion. Goldstein thumped it clear. Doing well was Chiel. Taken well at ground level by Ebert. Ebert doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Ruffin kicks it. Gets into some space to mark this. A piercing kick from Stratton. Berry took his eyes off the ball. Savage gets a quick kick away. Burton takes it well. Channels a long kick. Takes a strong mark. Goes with the kick. Webster gets on the end of this. Looks to move it by foot. Wilson found some space and marked. Looks up with the kick. Easily takes the mark. Webster uses it by foot. Marks that ball uncontested. The ball finds Berry. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Hartlett with quick hands. Corp moves it by hand. Goldstein just put it on the booth. Hits him hard. Pitter puts on a bump. Great tackle. Great tackling technique. Ebert puts it on the boot. Picks up the loose ball. Pow Pepper crosses off the tackle. Doing well with the mark. Intervening brilliantly was Jeray. Pittard throws the ball away. Lynch searches for a teammate downfield. Does well to cut off the kick. Berry goes with the kick. Webster marks in a bit of space. Goes the long option. Good mark and looks to send it back. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Marks now and can send it back. A good job keeping it in play there. Webster puts on a big hit. Stephen couldn't stick the tackle. A chance for Henderson. He's got the footy in his hands. A great mark taken there. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. No problems with that kick from Oak. His teammates rush over. Fremantle have four on the trot. Fremantle lead by three goals. McAvoy with the hit. Ebert powers through in style. Dugowie unable to lay the tackle. Gets the handball away. Hacking it out of there. Begley not wasting time. Elects to play on. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Sinclair marks it. Lining up for goal. Well within range from here. Going for goal number one. Fremantle by four goals. About to resume hostilities. It's been a clearance game, and right now, Fremantle are on top in that area. Dugowie lobs the handball. Revo was taken high in the tackle.
Opportunity once again for Geelong to put one through. This will certainly test him from this distance. Dugowie landed in his back on this occasion. Moved on by Jaray. Marks in a bit of space. Moves it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Uses it by foot. A race for the loose ball. He gets his hands on the footy. He slams it towards goal. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. Langdon loved kicking that one. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Fremantle have allowed the opposition more of the ball but aren't allowing them to score from those positions. They are defensively very sound. Big thump from McAvoy. Penetrating handball. Yet another possession. Dugowie got the hands free. Seedsman can't hold on to the tackle. And the mark will be paid. Does well to keep it in play. Can't quite step through. And only a behind. Geelong now only trailed by 17. Fremantle have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. 50 metres from home. Gresham lining up now on a 45 degree angle. He likes his chances from here. Stands tall and marks. Kick by call. Great mark under pressure. The kick from Shield. The mark has been taken. Thurlow moves it now. Gathers it now. Goes by foot. Coughed up by Kittard. Both there to mop up. Constant pressure and rewarded. And we'll get a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. A great defensive effort. Shield dishes it off. Henderson looking to track down the footy. Not much time left in the quarter. Brody releases by hand. He drives it. Marking in space for Gresham. Fantastic chase and tackle. Hunted down by Hartlett. It's an intriguing first half as it stands. Fremantle, 42. Blake Geelong, 25. Fremantle will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Fremantle have to be smarter with their ball use at times. The third quarter about to get underway. Umpire ready to resume play. Goldstein clears the contest. Wilson with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Chose to kick it. Gets a quick kick away. Got hands to it. Well taken at ground level. Membry gives away a free for in the back. Uses it across half back. Shield over the top. Decides to kick. Henderson not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Goldstein won the hit out. Ainsworth won himself a free. Puts boot to ball. Kelly takes the mark. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. He takes the shot. A chance to reload the attack man. Cordy uses it by foot. He intercepts the ball well. Decides to keep going. Boat heading to the bench. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Scoops up the ball. McAvoy might have overworked himself there. Begley drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Savage sends it into space. Cleanly picked up. He lays off the pass. Looking to kick goal number two. 
Begley getting the crowd involved. Now they lead by 23. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. The Cats are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help. Thumps it clear. Brown picks up the loose ball. Slams it under the boot. Well collected. Cordy can link up through hands. He takes the mark. Revolt drives the kick. Finds a target. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Thump clear. The loose ball picked up. Now we will get a ball up. Goldstein just swats it away. Needs a bit of a rest. Intercepted. Rushes with the kick. They create the turnover. Pittard hacks it out of there. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Duncan struggling to run at the moment. Just not good enough with that kick. Fremantle get the margin out to four goals. Gardner takes the mark uncontested. Slams it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Uses it now. Burton runs after this one. Dugowie will be the recipient of the free. Got boot to ball. Finds this one all by himself. Revolt right on the edge of his range. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. It looked impossible, but he made it work. Drops the ball. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong close the gap to 18. McAvoy got a fist to it. Shield slams it onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Got boot to ball. Finds a bit of room to mark. Decides to play on. Pittard couldn't hang on to the ball. Landed in his back on this occasion. Burton keeps that one low. Nice hands. Thurlow keeps it moving. Kicks out of the congestion. A strong pack mark. Webster moves it now. Pal Pepper found a way to mark that one. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Throws it out of the pack. He loved that one. 24 points the difference. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Geelong haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Receives the handball and takes off. He wins possession. Hartlett spins out of trouble. Ball up in the centre square. Thump by McAvoy. The bounce made it tough. Lynch, hurry kick. 
A chance to reload the attack man. The kick from Savage. Ball out of bounds on the wing. Thrown in now. McAvoy with the punch. Gives the old, don't argue. What a brilliant tackle. Fails to fend off the tackler. Fantastic pressure there. Both elects to kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Holding the ball. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Goes with the kick. The mark is taken by Shield. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. High tackle. Shield puts it on the boot. Only seconds remaining in this quarter. He drives it. Duncan wins the ball in the air. Punches the kick. Geelong trailing by 24. They have a lot to think about. Fremantle will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Time to take a look at the stats. The Cats are creating plenty of chances from turnover. They just need to generate that into more scoring opportunities to be a big chance. Thank you, Gaz. Last quarter action, ready to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Punched away. This is rough hand. Uses a short hand. Pal Pepper has a teammate on the move. Doing well to intercept that kick. He gives chase to the footy. Even having a big game. He's showing everyone how it's done. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Picks it up. Stratton dug out the loose ball. Reva wins the ball in the air. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. A great goal! A time to celebrate! And don't they get around to Gavin. We resume hostilities. Goldstein hurls it away. Here's to going. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Hammers it. Duray making his way onto the field. Now it's a ball up. Thump clear. Just manufactures what he could. Thurlow steals possession. Dug out by Sinclair. It's cut off by Stephen. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's everywhere at the moment. Kelly has the ball. With the ball now. Pittard uses the bump. Thank you, guys. I We'll get a ball up. Punches it clear. Didn't fumble. Mops up the loose ball. Berry goes with the kick. McGovern collects it. And the umpire calls for a stoppage. McAvoy thumps it forward. Berry gathers it now. Just got the hands in the back there. Slams it on the boot. He's been in everything. Shield clears the ball from the contest. Just gets it onto the boot. Applies a bump. He's got the footy in his hands. Reva uses the body well. Elected to play on with a driving kick. Gresham takes the mark. Up for grabs for Power Pepper. The kick towards goal. 
Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Geelong behind by 12. It's great to watch that. Eh? Plenty of excitement. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. About to resume play. McAvoy thumps it clear. Dugowie rushes with the kick. Cor didn't mark it. Stevenson just landed in his back. Puts it on the booth. Great grab. <laughs> Moves the ball by foot. Nobody can hold on here. Just dismisses his opponent. Thurlow with the ball. Kelly just threw it. Chips it towards half forward. Dugowie determined to reach the ball. Burton just gets it onto the boot. Decides to keep it alive. Ainsworth throws the ball away. Drives the kick hard. Wilson runs after the ball. Dishes it off. Turned it over. Gardner hacking it out of there. Savage gains possession. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Takes it well. Langdon choosing to play on. Looks to move it by foot. A solid mark from McGovern. 40 metres from home. Looking to kick goal number two. He delivers with the drop pass. They get around him after that effort. That's three in a row for Geelong. Geelong reduced the margin. Winning it was the rough end. Does well to get it out. Awkwardly got the handball out. Ainsworth picks it up. Picking it up was McAvoy. Begley launches towards goal. That kick hits the post. Fremantle by seven points. Fremantle are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Berry channels a long kick. Savage was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Brody will be the recipient of the free. Uses it now. Savage controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Savage sends one up towards the wing. Decides to kick. Thurlow takes it strongly. A spearing kick. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Berry sends one up towards the wing. The ball finds its way out of play. Webster heads onto the ground. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. It's very tense at the moment. Brown wins the foot race. Intercepts the ball very well. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Jurek sends one up towards the wing. Sweeping handball from Goldstein. Can't take possession. Gets the loose ball. I'll have it. Goldstein with a big fist on it. Great tackle. Sinclair takes it well. Going for goal number two. That was sweet. They put through another. Gets some rewards for his efforts. Fremantle with the edge right now over Geelong. Back in the middle now. Goldstein gets onto the ball. Is in his possession. Lynch finds possession. He gives it a ride. That one rams into the post. Fremantle doing well at the moment. Fremantle have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Moves it by foot. 
Finding the ball with ease. The umpire calls for it. Goldstein just swats it away. Goldstein gets right in his face. Showing some really good pressure there. Just a minor. Not a great performance. And in the end, it was a poor result for Geelong. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? Fremantle just played better team footy and proved they wanted it more. Final scores are 64 to 49. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone.